Hello and welcome to Hornbill TV's Prime at Nine. I'm Naomi Kigon. Now the news in details. Advisor of ITNC, Munlumo Kigon, today launched official state right of way portal, portal and awareness workshop on e services under e district platform at the Directorate of IT and Communication in Gohima. Speaking at the launching program, Kigon urged user departments to extensively harness the benefits of information technology in providing various government services to citizens to enable the state of Nagaland to move towards digital governance. He highlighted the increased usage of online services in various government departments. E-commerce and e-governance online classes have increased significantly. The inadequate telecom infrastructure is one of uh, the primary attributes for all for all jobs and uh, creating roadblocks to broadband penetration and expansion of mobile coverage to facilitate speedy installation of mobile towers, optic fiber in a time-bound and non-discretionary manner and also to simplify the process of obtaining right-of-way permissions. The India Telegraph Right-of-Way Rules 2016 was notified. To, in compliance with the India Telegraph Right-of-Way uh, Rules 2016, a, a comprehensive guideline was notified by the government, state government, on 2nd December 2019, stipulating a set of standards for granting permission for installation of telegraph infrastructure, both overground and underground within the territorial jurisdiction of Nagaland. B, the online portal has been developed by processing of applications and issuing of permission by the nodal officers and approving authority under the same guidelines. Principal Secretary INC KT Vizo said that due to the cooperation extended from all sections of society, the performance of the state in the country is often measured in terms of quality, IT services and electronic transactions. And quality, good quality of telecom services comes only through good connectivity. In the state of Nagaland, due to difficult terrain, inclement weather conditions and other factors, it is a big challenge to lay underground optical fibers. And therefore, the state is slowly moving towards aerial optical fiber connectivity along power transmission lines and wireless connectivity. However, some telecom operators are still going ahead with underground optical fiber laying which requires right-of-way permissions. Even the aerial optical fiber connectivity along power transmission lines, there is a need for all the telecom operators to obtain right-of-way permission from the state government. To facilitate giving quick permission, the state of Nagaland have, have, has already brought a comprehensive right-of-way policy in December 2019 and operators are already utilizing that policy. 